Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problems related with maximum power transfer theorem. So the first problem is for the circuit shown in figure, R absorbs the maximum power. Compute the value of R and maximum power. So here this is the given circuit diagram, right? We need to calculate the value of R and the maximum power that is consumed by R. So before that we have to calculate the value of R then only we can easily calculate the power, right? So in this is the given diagram. The first step is we have to find the V Thevenin, right? That is Thevenin's voltage in the same way. So how to find the V Thevenin? The thing is we have to remove the load resistance which is connected across the terminals. So here you see we have removed the resistance across the terminal and this is our circuit diagram, right? So since here we are having a current source of 20 amps, you see that when this current source appear at this node, it gets divided into two, right? So when it gets divided, again when you look, you see this current, there is no way to go this way because it is open circuit. So the current that flows through these two amps again flows through these three amps. Right. So, these two resistors are said to be in series. Right. So, 2 plus 3 that gives 5 ohms and here we are having a 5 ohms. So, since the value of resistors are same, the current gets equally divided between those two resistors. So, this 20 amps gets divided into 10 amps and 10 amps, right? One 10 amps flow through this 5 ohms and other 10 amps flows through a series combination of 2 ohm and 3 ohm, right? So now we need to find the voltage across this terminal. So the voltage across this terminal is nothing but the voltage impressed across this 3 ohm resistor, right? So therefore, the voltage is nothing but it is given by I into R. We know the current that flows through this 3 ohm. We know the value of resistance also. So 10 into 3 that gives the answer as 30 volts. Right. So this is our step 1. And the next thing is we have to find the R Thevenin. Right. That is Thevenin's resistance. So what is the procedure here? Again the thing is we have to remove the load resistance as well as we have to remove the current source from the main circuit. That is this is our main circuit, right? This is a given problem. So in this problem, we have to remove this resistance as well as this current source. So the rest forms the circuit to calculate the Thevenin's resistance. So here, this is our circuit, right? So how to calculate the R Thevenin? You see, you have to calculate from this terminal, right? So when you look here, just for assumption, you see, the current that flows like this gets divided like this, right? It gets divided into 2. Whereas the current that flows through this 2 ohm will again flow through this 5 ohm, right? So, these two are in series. So, 2 plus 5 is nothing but 7. And that 7 ohm is in parallel with this 3 ohm, right? Because the current gets divided between those two. So, what is the formula to calculate the equivalent resistance? So R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So here R1, here R2. So 3 into 7 divided by 3 plus 7. So when you calculate here, the final answer is 2.1 ohms. Right, this is the value of R Thevenin. Now the next thing is, we need to calculate the maximum power transfer. Since here we are dealing with maximum power transfer the main criteria is maximum power transfer will occur when the source resistance is equal to the load resistance right so here in this case this R Thevenin is nothing but our R which is equal to 2.1 ohms right then the maximum power transfer is given by this formula V Thevenin square divided by 4 RL we know the value of Thevenin's voltage. We know the value of load resistance. So just you see here 30 and that is 2.1. So just substitute the values here and the final answer is 107 watts. Right. This problem gets over here. We will move with the next one. So the second problem is a loudspeaker is connected across the terminals A and B. Right. 
So what should be the value of impedance of the speaker to obtain the maximum power transferred to it and what is the maximum power? So here in this case, you see, between the terminals, we are having a loudspeaker, right? So we should calculate what is the impedance of that loudspeaker and to have maximum power and then we have to calculate what is the value of maximum power right so when you look at this diagram the first thing is we are calculating the value of i right so the value of i is given by we are having a voltage source and we are having a impedances like this so the value of i is given by v by z right so v is 10 with an angle of 30 degree and z is this plus this so 3 plus j4 minus j5 right so here since i am having rectangular coordinates down i am converting this polar form into rectangular form so here our answer is 8.66 plus j5 divided by when you solve 3 and 5 minus 4 minus 5 plus 4 gives minus 1 right so this is the value of current right so then under write the units also. Then the next thing is once the value of current is calculated, we need to calculate the voltage across this AB. Right. So voltage across this AB is nothing but it is the voltage across this minus J5 ohm. Therefore, V Thevenin is given by I into Z. We know the value of I. We know the value of Z. So just substitute and here the answer is 11.83 minus j 10.49 right so we have calculated the thevenin's voltage then the next thing is we need to find the z thevenin or r thevenin right since here we are having uh, inductance and capacitors we are representing this as a thevenin's impedance right not thevenin's resistance so here to find thevenin's impedance again what is the thing we have to remove the load resistance and source voltage here the load resistance is not given okay so no issues here we are having a voltage source so we have to remove this so when you remove this you see this is how our circuit looks then we have to calculate the z thevenin so again when you look back from this terminal we have to proceed so again at this junction what happens the current gets divides right therefore these two are said to be parallelly connected so how to calculate again the same formula z1 into z2 divided by z1 plus z2 so that gives the answer as 7.5 minus j 2.5 right then so here the criteria is for maximum power transfer this is the condition okay z thevenin should be equal to z l Therefore, the impedance of the speaker is 7.5 minus j 2.5 ohms. Right. Now, again, when you redraw the circuit, you see this is our circuit. We are having a Thevenin's voltage, Thevenin's impedance and load. Right. So, here the value of current when the power is maximum is given by this formula. That is I is equal to V Thevenin by 2 times of RL. We know the value of Thevenin's voltage, we know the value of load resistance, but here we need only RL, right. So here this is our resistance part, right. So this is, since here we are having a minus sign, this indicates that is a capacitor load, right. So it is a combination of resistance and capacitance, but here as per the formula, we need only RL. Therefore, we are considering 7.5 alone here. So once you substitute here, we are ending up with the answer like this. Then the next thing is calculation of power. So power is given by I square RL. We know the value of I. We know the value of RL. So once you substitute here the final answer is 8.32 watts. Right. So here comes the end of our second problem. Now we will proceed with our third one. So here the problem is for the circuit shown below. Find the value of RL for maximum power delivered to it. Calculate also the maximum load power. So here again the same thing. You need to calculate RL for maximum power transfer. Then we need to calculate the maximum power across the load resistance. So here as usual the same thing right. We need to calculate Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's resistance or Thevenin's impedance right. And then we have to proceed. 
So the first step is to calculate the Thevenin's voltage, right? So to calculate the Thevenin's voltage, we have to remove the load resistance. So we have to remove this RL. So just remove this RL and just redraw the circuit. Our circuit looks like this. Then we are going to calculate the current. So here you see current flows like this, right? So here it flows from minus to plus. So it is plus voltage and here it flows from plus to minus. Therefore, this 1.7 is considered as minus voltage, right? And here all the resistance are connected in series and this 0.4 ohm and 0.6 ohm are internal impedances or internal resistances of the source, right? So you have to include this also. So for voltage, we are having two voltage with the polarity of opposite that is with opposite polarity. So here 12.5 minus 1.7. Okay, that is your V. Divided by R is just you have to add all the things. 1.2 plus 1 plus 0.6 plus 1.4 plus 1.4 plus 0.4. Right. So once you have done this, just we, we can easily calculate the value of current. That is 1.8 amps. Right. Now the thing is we need Thevenin's voltage. So here, Thevenin's voltage is nothing but the voltage which is calculated across the terminals. So here our terminal is AB, right? So to find the Thevenin's voltage, you see, either you can use this part or you can use this part. Okay, anyway, the final answer will remain the same. So here I am considering this portion because we need to calculate voltage across this, right? So you see... Here the thing is 12.5, right, minus here the current that flows through this, this entire circuit is 1.8. So here it is nothing but this is your voltage V and this is your I value multiplied by R. That is we are subtracting two different voltages, that's it. So 12.5 minus 1.8 into the value of R is R across this portion alone. So it is 0.4 plus 1.2 plus 1.4. So just substitute and here the final answer is 7.1 volts. Right. Here I had considered this portion. You can also do the same with this part. Right. You can consider 0.6, 1 and 1.4. And you can consider the source voltage as 1.7. Again you will be ending up with the same thing. Right. Now the next thing is to find R Thevenin. So to find R Thevenin, we have to remove the voltage sources as well as the load resistance. So once everything is removed, our circuit looks like this, right? So here in this case, you see again, we should not disturb this terminal AB. So it should be as such, right? So you see these three resistors are connected in series, right? So when you add, that will give 3 ohms again. When you look at these three resistors, again, these three are connected in series. So that gives the answer of 3 ohms, right? But when you look at this combination, you see current gets divided between those two, right? Therefore, this part of resistance and this part of resistance comes in parallel, right? They are parallelly connected. So here the answer will be 3 into 3 divided by 3 plus 3. So that gives the answer as 1.5 ohms. Right. So now we have calculated the uh, Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's resistance. Now we are going to draw Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So when you draw equivalent circuit, you see this is our Thevenin's voltage, this is our Thevenin's resistance and this is your load resistance RL. So as we all know, maximum power transfer will happen only when this RL is equal to this source resistance. Okay, this resistance is said to be source resistance. So, the value of RL is equal to 1.5. Right. Now, the next thing is we need to calculate the maximum power. So, the formula here is V Thevenin square divided by 4 RL. Right. So, just substitute the values accordingly and here the final answer is 8.4 watts. Right? When the value of RL is 1.5 ohms, the maximum power is transferred to the load, right? whose value is 8.4 watts. So here comes the end of this video. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.